Welcome back to the channel. I am trying something a little bit different here. Instead of actually putting a video together of recording me, I'm just gonna do a quick summer update of what I have been up to. I just completed my fifth year of education. Super excited to be teaching at Southridge High School. Along with that, my wife finished her first year in the Kinnock School District, so super cool. She has nine years of education. After that, we were able to go on a quick getaway to Walla Walla. While we were there, we went to our favorite burger place. Then we stayed at Cameo Heights. Each one of the rooms at Cameo Heights had something to do with a different country. The country we stayed at was Germany. Along with that, we went into Walla Walla and got to go to their outdoor market. There we saw a couple cool metalworking people, and then I got to enjoy one of my favorite coffee companies there. After we hung out in Walla Walla's outdoor market, we went to one of our favorite wineries, which is called Waterbrook. There we had a tasting and dinner, went back to Cameo Heights, walked around the cherry blossoms and orchard, had a couple cherries to taste. It was a beautiful day, and we enjoyed it a lot. Here's a little look at the room we stayed in. Uh, another one of the cool features in the outdoor area was this fire pit. Lisa and I were able to roast some s'mores. We really enjoyed being outside. It was a little windy and cold, so we didn't swim, but we enjoyed a little bit of a fire. Every morning they featured a different fruit. This one included dragon fruit and a delicious fruit smoothie. Continuing on with summer, I was able to spend time having dinner with my parents. Lisa and I enjoyed spending the summer with Gus. This is breakfast time. Then we made one of my favorite meals. Lisa didn't even know until we were eating it that my mom used to uh, make this a lot with me, so we enjoyed that. Then we were able to go check out a new smoothie place, and one of our friends had a birthday party, so we got all dressed up fancy. The invitation said, wear your best. Then dad cooked up these amazing tomahawk steaks that we enjoyed as a family. Look how big those are. It was crazy the size. I really enjoyed them, not only eating it normal, but also I had to dive into that bone and really go to town. Look how great the meat was cooked perfectly, pink in the middle. Mmm, it was so good. This summer, Lisa and I also moved into a new house. We had several more projects we were working on. One was making a new place for Gus so he is safe when we are at work. Most of the time he's in the backyard, but when we aren't able to be there, we have him safe there. We also spent some time relaxing in our hammock. Lisa was reading a book and I was just hanging out. After that, we grilled up some burgers and hot dogs and our new barbecue. We were excited. Then we had to work on a fence project to make sure Gus would not get out. My dad was able to come over and help. It turned into an all-day project, of course, at 101 degrees. Then I got a new toy. The new toy I got was a drone. Here are some fun shots as I was just practicing getting the drone up and going. And my parents' backyard was perfect because it was big enough for me to try new things, but not too big that I got lost. Lisa and my mom were watching, and of course Gus had to come out and play. He loved the sprinkler. We spent hours and hours there. We still go back a couple times a week for him to play and run around. We have a sprinkler set up in our own backyard. It's just not as fun and big like my parents' backyard. Here are some of my favorite shots we got of him. Of course, if the sprinklers, or sorry, the sprinkler's not going, we use the normal sprinklers, and he enjoys that just as much. Man, he is such a photogenic dog. If you have not seen, he has his own Instagram. It's at lifeofgus2022. Go check it out. Lisa and I have so much fun with him. We went down and visited Lisa's parents and her family in Lincoln City. While we were there, we had a friend watch Gus, and look at this great catch he got. Ah, even in slow-mo, Gus is still amazing. In Lincoln City, we were able to spend a little bit of time just hanging out, relaxing. Then we were able to do some 4th of July things. While we were there, I took the drone up and took it around in the different neighborhoods. I had to make sure that I was following all the correct state laws and making sure I had the FAA approval to be able to be up in the air. Here are a couple shots that we had down in Lincoln City along the beach and the ocean. Um, you gross kissing, gross don't look. Then we were able to go around more and have a delicious dinner at Pelican Brewery. Here's my burger and again we did a sampling of the different beers. Here's the drone going up and over uh, across from uh, the beach and the bay you can see. Um, I'm still getting used to it, so it's a little glitchy and not even. That's one thing as I work on how to become a better photographer and videographer is working on taking the drone up. 
While I was there, I was a little more adventurous and let it go further away. Still a good rule of thumb that I have is to make sure I can always see where the drone is from where I'm standing. But I was able to use the phone screen to be able to see where it was going and to keep it safe and enjoy looking at everything that was going on. We really enjoy being at Lincoln City and by the ocean. Um, here's just a quick video of the waves. It's just something that we really enjoy. While we're there, we'll just walk up and down the beach a lot. Lisa and I really enjoy outside activities and walking. And so this is a great combination of being with uh, nature, seeing the ocean, and just being outside. Look at these cool shots that I was able to take of Lisa. Then if you can look in the distance, see that little blowhole right there? That is a whale. Look, there it is. It was pretty cool to be able to see uh, even just that small little glimpse. Then we found this really cool uh, driftwood, so I had to take a cool artistic picture. Lisa and I are at Lincoln City, and we decided, oh, we're gonna put our feet in the water. Lisa, how was it? It's so cold. Was it cold? It's so cold. Is it the Pacific Ocean? Look, my feet are red. Look, your feet are red. What else did we see when we were out here, honey? We saw a whale. Whale? Whale. How did we know? We saw it stuck. Wow. Lisa's dad made this amazing frittata. We enjoyed eating that every morning for breakfast. Happy 4th of July! One part that made this trip even more fun is I got to play the role of Uncle Josh. I was able to get kites and we took the kids up to the beach and we flew them. Look how high the kite got. We had four different kites going at one time. Here's just a picture of three of them and then here's a group picture of all of them in the background. It was a great, great day leading up to the fireworks. Kitty, you can go with us too. Do you wanna go on the boat with us, Kitty? No? Okay, bye, Kitty. We are ready to go boating, Lindbergh family, woo! Going to the Columbia River. Mama Lisa, what are we gonna go do? We're gonna go on the boat. Going on the so, boat. So what are you gonna do? Keep driving. Wow, Dad, you super excited? What, what? Yeah, woo! We're officially on the water, woo! Dad, what, what do you got to say? <laughs> what do I have to say? The water is still here. It seems a rather flat today and a nice warm day. Woo hoo! Lisa, what's your goal today? To not burn. Mom, what's your goal today? Water! Hopefully you can see the excitement, but it was definitely windy, especially when we were going fast on the boat. Parents had a great time. We kept going. <laughs> Jumping in the river was super fun. It was so cold, so we jumped in one or two times. Then we ended up just putting our feet in the water to enjoy it. Um, as we continued, it was just fun to be able to be out there. It was a hot day, but right now the river is not that warm to spend tons of time in. It was fun though. Lisa was able to drive the boat. Check it out. Lisa, what are you doing? Standing on the boat. Standing on the boat. Yeah, it's wild. Very nice. Snow cones are an amazing way to cool down and what a great treat. We really enjoyed this day being out there, having fun with my parents and being on the river and spending time together. I love my parents so much. After that, we went home and had smash burgers. Oh my gosh, they are so good. But of course, I'm gonna end with this great series of pictures from Gus. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you in our next video. Bye.